Hi, this is Leela and it's a quick video. I want to show you, so we, every year we have a secret Santa swap, secret, secret sister Santa swap. And this year we had a rule that everything had to fit into a small flat rate box. And then the other guidelines are you give gifts for five days, so leading up to Christmas. So when it's 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and then a gift on the day of Christmas. So um, some of us have been struggling fitting into a small flat rate box. And so I wanted to show you how it could be done. And I'm making this video, of course, before I mail it to my secret Santa sister. Um, but I will not publish it until after Christmas. So let's have a little look-see. And I will tell you right now, um, I didn't tape it shut, but um, one side fits perfectly and one side is busting a little bit at the seam. So this really is like the most you can fit in here. But let's have a look. So um, inside the box, then I've got a couple of little gifties and I'll take them out so that we can see. And yes, I... Um, I'm gonna have to rewrap all of this. So we start on the 20th, December 20th, we start on that day. And so I'm hoping she I'm hoping she takes it out and she looks at it and she says, oh, 20, 21, 22. And that she gets that, um, oh, let me pull this down into view. 20, 21, 22. So you can see, I kinda, um, I used our stamp set, our calendar stamp set, and I put a little star on each date. So I'm hoping that's pretty obvious. Um, that she won't open that until the 22nd. And she might even wonder like, well, why didn't I get anything through the 25th? But maybe she can see like there's little tags in here too. But so on the 20th, um, I made her this bag and this is from my 12 weeks to a wow Christmas series. And she asked for bows. So this is a bag full of bows. One fell out. I'm going to put it over here, but it's a bag full of, I don't know, about 12 bows or so. So I put a bunch of bows in here and um, I'm a matchy, matchy, matchy person. So you'll see that as we go along. But this was her present on the 20th. She wanted tied bows. She got a bunch of them. She also happened to mention that she loves the new lavender suite. If you're watching this before January, I think 5th or whenever the new launch date is, um, demonstrators can get the lavender product ahead of time and oh my gosh is it luscious so um, so anyway this is all mostly current I think there's only one thing in here that's not current or upcoming Stampin' Up! product so anyway that's the 20th and that's her little bag of bows and then on the 21st I made a sweet little bag and actually this is the front I made a sweet little bag and this is also how you can make, this guy is in my 12, 2023, 12 weeks to a wow Christmas. How you can make this guy is in my 2023, 12 weeks to a wow Christmas. It's a little bag, it kind of snaps with a magnet. And then inside of there, that is a wrapped tube of chapstick. So that's that guy. And then, and I am gonna open it and I'll um, repackage it. I knew I was gonna do that. But on the 22nd, then, I'm gonna reuse this tag. Yes, I'm gonna reuse this tag. On the 22nd, she's gonna open this gift and this is what she's gonna get on the 22nd. Now, I need to do a little bit of doctoring and I'll show you that. So if you see, that's the 23rd. So hopefully she'll be like, what's this? And she turns it over and she looks. Look at this cute package. So I made her a swag bag and if you want to know how to make this swag bag this is also in 12 weeks to a wow christmas and so 22nd the gift is the swag bag now what i am also going to do is put um a date on here of the 22nd and so this is also a gift for the 22nd for her and i've got to figure out how to fit it in because it's going to be snug as a bug in a rug but i just made up a bunch of tags oh my gosh they're so cute i just made up a bunch of little stockings uh, i think i made like six of them so it's just a little stocking and oh some of them are kind of sticking together so that's the thing about tags you gotta uncouple them but anyway cute little tag 
sweet little baby. So she's got six of those, and I've got to figure out how to tuck them in just right so she knows those go on the 22nd. Then if she were to take this out, and who wouldn't? It's got her name on it. How cute is it? She would notice, oh, that's for the 24th. I better not look at that on the 24th. And then she would look at this. Okay, this is just carry over to go with that guy. Um, she would look at the 24th and say, oh, better not open that guy yet. So um, I'm going to put that aside just to show you the swag bag. The swag bag has a pocket here and it has a pocket here. And look at this lavender paper. Is it luscious? And then she might be tempted to look at this. Oh my gosh, what's this? Well, this is the December 25th. So don't open till the 25th. So then let's keep looking. What's the 23rd? Oh, here's the 23rd. So I can open it because I haven't sealed anything yet. So um, that's December 23rd. And inside December 23rd, again, matchy matchy. This is all this beautiful lavender. May you feel sheltered in the love that surrounds you. And it's a sweet little card. You're simply marvelous. It's got some butterflies. And then on the back, Beth, wishing a beautiful woman a beautiful holiday season. I hope it's filled with all the things that you love. Why is Wrigley barking? He never barks. I'm sorry for that. I'm just going to keep going, and then I'll go take a look at what he's barking about. Oh, my gosh, he never barks. <laughs> um, so the 24th, when she gets to the 24th, it's got her little name on it, and then sending an abundance of love and then when you open the little pocket on the back it just says beth merry christmas love your secret santa p.s i hope you keep this for christmas decoration or ornament um, for as long as you desire so that's the 24th and then for the 25th this is her ten dollar present and i made this little envelope and then i made these little loop de loopies and then when you go inside there's a I have never heard him bark this much I'm a little worried I've got this um so on the 25th you do the reveal so um Merry Christmas Beth I hope you had as much fun with your package as I did love Leela and I sure did have fun and then her gift is gems that match the um lavender and then a bunch of butterflies and then um, I cut these to I think four by five and a quarter so perfect for a card front she got basically every pattern she got one of each side so and here's the lavender if you haven't seen it yet so if you're watching this and you're a demonstrator you can get these lavender papers if you're watching this and you're not a demonstrator and you want them before they go on sale to customers on January 5th, you can join now, become a demonstrator, and you can get these lush, you can order these luscious, luscious papers. And if you just wait and um, until everything goes live, it's January 5th. Uh, I'll have more news for you about that. Actually, I'll post it below. Um, if you wait to till January to join, there's a fantastic, fantastic joining special where you get at this awesome glass mat, which I'll be showing more of, um, and just all kinds of fun products for a great, great value, great, great join value. So stay tuned for, not to mention, I just love my team, love, love, love my team. Beth is on my team, and I love Beth, and I love people being on my team, and I just love to spoil them. So you guys, that is what you can fit. You can fit all of those lovely, lovely things into this box. Again, everything was current. The two things that aren't, these letters are not, although there are letters that are very, very similar coming out in the next catalog. Um, and then this stocking is just a template. And I think I might do this stocking in the next 12 weeks of Christmas to a wow Christmas. I think I'm saving that as an idea for next year. And then I just made my own little pocket and did a little corner rounder. So um, anyway, thanks for watching. You can fit things into that small little box. Oh, um, and then, it, yes, I showed you the text. Perfect. I got to figure out that's the final thing. I haven't figured out that they weren't in there, but um, that's going to be snug as a bug in a rug. Thanks for watching. Bye.